In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D folded poster effect using Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. Back in the vector world of Illustrator, I'll be using this custom artboard for my 3D poster design, but you can use any document size that you want. With the rectangle tool selected, I'm going to create a large rectangle equal to my artboard. Now you can change the color of this rectangle to white from the color picker. Zoom out a little so that everything is visible nicely. With the type tool selected, use any decent typeface and write the main headline for your poster design. Place it at the very bottom and then increase the font size quite a bit ensuring that the headline covers the full artboard from left to right. Align this text to the center of the artboard. Now right-click on this text and create outlines. Once more right-click on this text and ungroup it. So now the text has been converted into separate letters which can be grouped together for design purpose. I'm thinking of arranging these letters into three groups, each with two letters, and move them slightly away from each other to create some space among the letters. This is to ensure that we get enough space to create a folding effect without disturbing the headline text. So once you're done with the spacing of these letters, select the line tool from the toolbar and create a vertical line right here in this empty space. Press X on your keyboard to select the stroke, then apply a nice dark stroke color to this vertical line. Adjust the placement of this line between these letters because this line will be used as a divider to create that folding poster effect. Select this vertical line, and create a copy for the other folded half. You can slightly move the letters away to create enough space for the vertical line. Zoom out and check if things are nice and tidy. Now add some secondary text for the empty space at the top. Adjust the placement of this text and ensure that the text is not touching the vertical lines. Similarly, add more paragraph text for the poster design, just to fill up these empty spaces. Zoom in to adjust the placement of this text and create a copy for the right side. So once the spacing is adjusted, zoom out and select both these paragraphs. Create a copy for the left side and place it right here. So the text part for the folded poster design is complete. Now select the text in each section of your design and group the text by pressing Ctrl G. Repeat this step in each section and group the text. So once the grouping is done, you will be able to see that you have three separate text groups for each section. Before creating the folded effect, select the rectangle tool and create a separate small rectangle outside the main design. Zoom in on this rectangle and add some text here as well. We will be using this rectangle as another small folded section of the poster, giving our design a more realistic look. You can write any text that you want. After that, make sure to select the full text and group it by pressing Ctrl G. Now we will apply the folding effect. Select this large white rectangle and both the vertical lines. Go to the Windows menu and open the Pathfinder panel. Click on this icon which says Divide. Now right-click on this white rectangle and ungroup it. So now the large rectangle has been converted into three separate parts. Now select everything including the large rectangle and rotate your design to 90 degrees. This is because we will apply separate isometric effect to each part. Place each rectangle and the associated text in separate groups so that each design element is visible. Now select this central section of the poster, then go to the Effect menu and apply a 3D Extrude and Bevel. Set the Extrude Depth to 0 points and click on Preview to see the effect. Change the position to Isometric Top and simply hit OK. Now you can select both the white rectangle and the text and group them together to make things easier. Similarly, select the right section for the folding poster and apply the same 3D effect. Once again set the extrude depth to zero, but apply a different position which is isometric left, and hit OK. Now right-click and group this text and rectangle. So once the right section is complete, select the last remaining section and apply the same 3D effect. Once again set the extrude depth to zero and set the position to isometric left, just like the previous one and hit OK. Then right-click and group this text and the rectangle. So the main folded part of the poster is complete. Place all these sections together, ensuring that the edges of all these sections are perfectly aligned. Zoom in and use the arrow keys to align these sections with precision. Similarly, move the other vertical section using the arrow keys and align the edges properly. Now zoom out and you are going to notice that the folded poster effect is coming to life. 
Select this last remaining section and rotate it to 180 degrees, just to ensure that the text is upside down. Also, you can select this rectangle and the text and group them together if you want. Now go to the Effect menu and apply a 3D effect. Set the extrude depth to zero and also change the position to isometric top and hit OK. And this is how you can get another small section for the poster. Now you might notice that this small section is in front of the previous ones, so you can simply open the layers panel and place this small section behind all the other layers. Now zoom in and adjust the placement of this small section, just like the previous large ones. While doing this, you might face some delay or lag in Illustrator, but you can take your time to adjust everything nicely. Further zoom in and use the arrow keys to align the edges. Zoom out to see the final output. You can select everything and adjust the size to fit the design inside the canvas. And there it is, a 3D folded poster effect step-by-step -step using Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, press the like button, subscribe for more similar content, and I'll see you in the next one.